When I said there was more, I wasn't joking. Yeah, there is so, so much more than what I mentioned in the first part. So much stuff, in fact, that I've remade the entire image, with a bunch of new topics and a mostly new design. And if anything looks weird formatting-wise, pretend you don't see it. I'm doing my best. But before we start, let's go down the list of stuff I've already talked about to add on to them, or to correct myself. Even though I already did that in a comment, but hey, I guess no one reads comments. The Just Dance controller app, despite being introduced for Just Dance 2015, doesn't actually work with Just Dance 2015 anymore. There are plenty of spin-off games that I missed, so let's cover my bases and list all of them here. Just Dance Kids, Just Dance Disney Party, ABBA You Can Dance, Dance on Broadway, Michael Jackson The Experience, The Black Eyed Peas Experience, The Hip Hop Dance Experience, and the Smurfs Dance Party. These two words are both pronounced Ania. Venus B could be referencing the artist Bananarama, or it could be because a song codenamed Venus was meant to be in Just Dance Wii, but was never released. Rihanna's absence could be because of her striking a deal with Dance Central, but there's no confirmation on that. The French company Daddy Makes Sugar, not Soap. Daddy Cool could be in the credits of Just Dance Wii 2 because of it being sampled in a song, potentially Age Age Every Night. Radical's alternate has been leaked in full, but during my search, I could not find it even though it took one Google search. I promise I'm not dumb. Recently, the full map to the Sorry alternate beta has been leaked, albeit with a watermark, but it's still more than watchable. But with that, there's a whole lot more to get into, so let's get into it. Player 1, Fresh Air. Rabbids. The Rabbids are a franchise that is owned by Ubisoft. They are represented by a rabbit-like creature and act akin to one of Illumination's minions. But with them being a Ubisoft-owned product, they've been added into Just Dance multiple times. The first instance of a rabbit is in Just Dance 2's When I Grow Up, being a plushie on the couch, and one was also in Here Comes the Hop Stepper. One of the latest inclusions of a rabbit is the Nintendo Switch exclusive track of Naughty Girl, Rabbit Peach Edition. Shake Move In Just Dance 1, there was a special move called a Shake Move, in which you'd have to violently shake your Wii Remote around to get a lot of points. This move was removed from main gameplay in Just Dance 2, but was kept around for a tiny bit in a different game mode in Just Dance 3. That game mode being... Simon Says Mode. Simon Says was a game mode in Just Dance 2 and 3, in which you'd be made to do a specific action midway through a dance. These actions could be stop, clap, spin, shake, or jump. Some of these actions are specific to certain versions of Just Dance 3, like the Xbox 360 or PS3 and Wii, but the mode was removed in Just Dance 4. Battle Mode. Battles were a thing in Just Dance 4 and 2014, in which two songs would duke it out and whoever was the better dancer wins. Some examples of songs would be Beauty and a Beat vs. Call Me Maybe in Just Dance 4, and She Wolf vs. Where Have You Been in Just Dance 2014. This mode was short-lived and did not appear in any other games past Just Dance 2014. All-Stars Mode. All-Stars Mode was an exclusive mode in Just Dance 2020 for the 10th anniversary of Just Dance. This mode would have you dancing to one song from each Just Dance game up until 2020, in which you would unlock Panic at the Disco's High Hopes as a song to play. There was also a story within this, but I didn't follow it. Hold My Hand Hold My Hand songs were few and far in between, but they appeared in Just Dance 3 and 4 as Wii and PS3 exclusives. This would involve you putting the controller between two people, one using their right hand and the other using their left. Then you would dance to the song as per usual, just with you having to grip the controller in a weird way. You can technically dance with up to 8 people with 4 controllers, but doing it solo is very... difficult. Kiss You 6 Player Alternate Kiss You had an exclusive 6 player alternate in the Xbox One version of Just Dance 2014. As the name suggests, this is the only song in Just Dance to have more than 4 coaches in a map. Despite me labeling it as an alternate, this is actually the main map for Kiss You in the Xbox One version with the quote-unquote standard dance crew quartet being the alternate. The choreography for the six-player version can be quite difficult, as in one section you have to literally get into a pyramid cheerleader style. Other than that, it's standard Just Dance gameplay. Auto Dance app. The Just Dance controller app wasn't the first app that Ubisoft made for Just Dance. The first was the Auto Dance app. This app allowed users to pick a song that was in either Just Dance 3 or 2014 depending on the release and then dance to it. It would then make an auto dance for it, much like how Just Dance does in games with either Kinect or PlayStation Camera. Just Dance Summer Party and Greatest Hits During the Just Dance 2 era, plenty of DLC were released, but Just Dance didn't want that to go to waste, so they re-released almost all their DLC onto a physical game called Just Dance Summer Party. This game exclusively contained a lot of the DLC from Just Dance 2 and operated on the Just Dance 2 engine. In a similar vein during the era of Just Dance 3, they packaged plenty of the greatest hits from Just Dance and put it into one game, 
A few DLCs are in here, but most of it is from previous games. There's also Just Dance Best Of, which is the PAL version of Greatest Hits, and it's pretty much the same but has a slightly different song list. Just Dance Greatest Hits Codes Much like the Konami code in Just Dance 3, Greatest Hits also has some codes that you can do to unlock a few songs. Doing up, up, left, left, down, down, right, right will give you Kati Kalandal from Just Dance 2, and doing up, up, right, right, down, down, left, left gives you Baby Girl from the same game. Also, on earlier versions of the game, if you did the Konami code, it would say that you unlock Barbara Streisand Extreme, but it doesn't appear, and it's just a bug from it being run on the Just Dance 3 engine. Target and Best Buy Exclusives During Just Dance 2 and 3, there were editions of the game exclusive to certain retail stores. For example, there is the Just Dance 2 Best Buy edition, where you got the songs Jai Ho, Should I Stay or Should I Go, and Funky Town for free, despite them technically being DLC. And as a proud owner of the Just Dance 2 Best Buy edition, I didn't even know these songs were DLC until much later. Target also got in on the fun in Just Dance 3's era, with the Best Buy and Target editions being different in the songs that they added. The Best Buy version gave Katy Perry's Teenage Dream and E.T., while the Target edition gave Rihanna's Only Girl in the World and B.O.B.'s Airplanes. Brand Collabs In a similar vein to the Coca-Cola songs that I've mentioned previously, there have been plenty of other collabs that Just Dance has done with other brands. For example, the Just Dance 4 songs You Make Me Feel and Brand New Start were a part of a Cheetos brand deal, where codes for the songs would be included with bags of Cheetos. There was also a Garnier collab with the song Safe and Sound in Just Dance 2014. Layer 2 Tip of the Iceberg Delayed Songs I'm going to be quite general with my explanation here, since I'm going to be mentioning plenty of maps that fit this category throughout the rest of the iceberg. Either way, there have been plenty of songs that have been planned for a release earlier than when they actually released. There could be plenty of reasons, but much like songs that were removed, it's most likely because of some sort of monetary or copyright reason. Reused Assets Another general topic here, but certain assets of beta maps have been reused for completely different maps that do end up releasing. These assets can be, for example, coaches and backgrounds. The Fairy Dina in Toxic The Fairy Dina is a Just Dance YouTuber out of France, and she has been heavily involved with Just Dance for a long time. Recently, with Just Dance 2023 edition, she was directly involved with the Just Dance 2023 edition version of Britney Spears' Toxic, being involved in the designing process with Ubisoft. She even has a cameo in the map, being a passenger on the plane. Covers in Just Dance Summer Party Certain DLC songs that were in Just Dance 2 that got ported over to Just Dance Summer Party ended up being covered. For example, Lou Bega's song Mambo No. 5 was covered by the Lemon Cubes. And in every subsequent release of Mambo No. 5, the Lemon Cubes are credited despite them using the official Lou Bega version. Just Dance 4 PAL Special Edition this is by far the weirdest edition of Just Dance. By default, the normal Just Dance 4 game in PAL territories doesn't include Umbrella by Rihanna in the main song list. The special edition adds it and its alternate into the game. And that's it. That is the only change that is made to the game. Nice for what? The Drake song Nice for What was originally a part of the main song list for Just Dance 2019, until it was removed later on via an update. The reason for removal is licensing issues, which is to be expected. Despite it being removed, it can still be officially played if you have an older version of Just Dance 2019 on Wii or Xbox 360, so no need for leaks. Man Down The Rihanna song Man Down was going to be released for Just Dance 2014, but was removed. The coach, however, does appear in the background of the song Blurred Lines, even though she does not appear anywhere else in-game. She also doesn't appear in any mashups or party master modes. Despite this, the entire map has been leaked. So Good B.O.B. song So Good was meant to be included in Just Dance 4, but was left unreleased for unknown reasons. The only other appearance of the coach is in the Just Dance 2017 mashup for Ghosts in the Keys, in which he appears four times. Despite limited knowledge, the entire map has been leaked. Respect. The Otis Redding song Respect was meant to be included in Just Dance 4, but was left unreleased. Apparently, the Aretha Franklin version was meant to be used. One small snippet of the choreography was included in the Just Dance 2015 mashup of Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Despite this, the entire choreography has been leaked. I Got A Feeling Beta. Here's one of those delayed songs I was talking about. The Black Eyed Peas song I Got A Feeling was originally meant to be included in Just Dance 2, but the entire map was scrapped and reworked, and eventually was released by Just Dance 2016. The coach actually appears on the cover art of the PAL version of Just Dance 2, alongside Let's Get It Started. Small snippets of the choreography have been leaked, but to my knowledge, the full thing has not been leaked. Layer 3 Under the Surface Dummy 
Dummy by Dummy is an air DLC that is available on modded Wii's. The DLC takes up one block of storage, has no song square, and is apparently a Party Master mode, despite the Wii console not having Party Master modes due to the lack of the gamepad. The song cannot be played, so it really is just an error or a placeholder. In fact, we'll cover what it's placing over later. Just Sing Just Sing was a music video and karaoke game developed by Ubisoft to be in the Just X series. The game also had an accompanying app, in which it would record you with the microphone and camera. You could then add effects and filters and make it look cool. Plenty of songs overlap with Just Dance, but there are plenty of songs that are only on Just Sing. Parental Controls Beta In Just Dance 2014's development, there was meant to be a parental controls feature, as is evidenced by a photo found by the UI designer, Mary Ann Brizzy. It's unknown what this feature would do, perhaps limit the song list to be songs without any suggestive themes, or even have it be customizable. Boy With Love Beta the BTS song Boy With Love was meant to feature on Just Dance 2020, but was scrapped and later re-released for Just Dance 2023 edition, with a completely new map. In a similar series of events like Man Down, player one of the original routine can be seen in the background of Skibby D, a song that did make it into the final game, yet Boy With Love didn't make it in. Recently, the entire routine has been leaked. Boom Boom The Momoland song Boom Boom was meant to be in Just Dance 2019, but was removed for unknown reasons. The background of the map was actually reused in the Charlie XCX and Troy Sivan song 1999 in Just Dance 2020 Unlimited. The entire map has been leaked online. Savage Love The Jason Derulo song Savage Love was meant to be included in Just Dance 2020 One. Unlimited. The two coaches were reused in the Joe Corey and MNEK song Head and Heart in the same game. The entire choreography has been leaked but it is a very early beta, as there is no coloring on the coaches and no background. We Can't Stop Just Dance 2014 The Just Dance 2015 song We Can't Stop was originally released as DLC on Just Dance 2014 before being removed, delayed, and re-released for Just Dance 2015. The original map was more simplistic and differs a lot from the Just Dance 2015 version. In fact, Dummy, the first topic I mentioned in this layer, is meant to be a replacement for We Can't Stop in Just Dance 2014 after its removal on modded Wii's Itsy Bitsy Beta. The song Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini in Just Dance 2018 was originally meant to have a completely different map for Just Dance 2017 until it was delayed and completely replaced. The song was actually erroneously featured in a Just Dance Now advert for the Deep Sea Diving playlist, as well as the Dutch Just Dance's Instagram countdown to Just Dance 2017. The full thing has been leaked, but much like in the hall of the Pixel King, the recording looks like it came from a DSi with Vaseline rubbed all over the camera. The Sweet Escape The Gwen Stefani song The Sweet Escape was meant to be released for Just Dance 2021, but was left unreleased. The coach was used in a beta version of the banner advert for the Fantasy World playlist, and the player icon was used in the background of the Chinese exclusive alternate to All You Gotta Do, Wuli Chiang Kai. The entire thing has been leaked. We Know Speak Americano Beta The Yolanda B. Cool song We Know Speak Americano was originally meant to be in Just Dance 3, but was delayed and mostly remade for Just Dance 4. A small leak has been made from the Wii shop servers, but the full thing has not been leaked. Tamta Dziewczyna Apologies for my Polish pronunciation. The Sylvia Gerszczyk song Tamta Dziewczyna was meant to be in Just Dance 2018, but was removed for unknown reasons. The full map has been leaked. Chick Chick Beta The China exclusive song Chick Chick or Xiaoji Xiaoji by Wang Rong Rolin has an original version that wasn't released. Not much changed from the beta to the release version, other than a different coach and some sound effects being added. The full thing has been leaked. Adoration to Happiness Beta Another China exclusive, the Angela Chang and Wilbur Pan song Adoration to Happiness, or Kuai Le Chong Bai, had a beta version that wasn't released. The map had the same background but only had one coach instead of two, and the choreography was entirely different as a result. The full thing has leaked online. You Never Can Tell, Just Dance 2015 The Chuck Berry song You Never Can Tell was featured in Just Dance 2016, but it originally was meant to be in Just Dance 2015. The map hasn't leaked at all, save for a few images, but from what I can tell, everything is basically the same, just with some different colorings to the coaches, and maybe a different background. Just Dance Next Just Dance Next was the codename for Just Dance 2023 edition, as can be seen by a few images left in the game. This is one of the very few Just Dance games to have a codename, apart from Just Dance 1 in 2014. The naming scheme is probably because of the new way Ubisoft is going to release Just Dance, having it be on one game in releasing updates. Katy Perry's I Love It VIP Maid On very early versions of Just Dance 2015, there was a supposed VIP Maid from Katy Perry dancing to the Icona Pop and Charlie XCX song I Love It, 
but it was either never released or was a placeholder. No leaks have been made, so who knows. Layer 4, Deep Dark Waters, Just Dance 2014 DualShock Controllers. In the files of the PlayStation 4 version of Just Dance 2014, are a few images that show tutorials on how to use the PlayStation DualShock controllers to score in-game. Now, the DualShock controllers do have accelerometers and gyroscopes, so it could, in theory, work, but it was never implemented probably for the reason of comfortability. Holding a DualShock like that for minutes on end might not be the best experience. Just Dance VR Just Dance is apparently coming to the virtual reality space with a new game, Just Dance VR. It's meant to release sometime this year, 2023, on the Pico 4 VR headset. There was a very early prototype of a Just Dance VR game back at E3 2016, but that went nowhere until September 2022 when this version was announced. Currently, the status of the game is unknown due to issues with ByteDance, Pico's parent company, as well as the poor performance of the Pico. But who knows, maybe it'll come to the Oculus or back onto Steam. Move Your Feet Error The junior senior song Move Your Feet is featured on Just Dance 2, and much like other older songs, has been remade for Just Dance subscription services. But during that transition, an error was made. In the original takes near the end of the song, the coach messes up his feet movement. In Just Dance 2, this was worked around with a splice that allowed for no issues, but this splice was forgotten in the remakes and now lives on, even in Just Dance Plus. Bomb Bomb Beta The Just Dance 2017 song Bomb Bomb by Era Estrefi has a beta that is very similar to the final version. The choreography is pretty much the same, with the coach in the background being the major differences. And here's a tangent, when mentioning the other Just Dance 2017 betas in the previous part, I got the comment that they removed them due to the backgrounds being too flashy and seizure inducing. And while that is a very valid issue, that doesn't make sense to me because just change the background. That's what I think they did with Bomb Bomb, because the original background was really flashy and the final version isn't. It's not that hard. Anywho, the entire thing has been leaked. Weapon of Choice The Fatboy Slim song Weapon of Choice was meant to appear in Just Dance 4, but was removed for unknown reasons. This map is unique as it was meant to be a dance battle mode first, with no normal routine for it. The only place this song has been seen is the manual for Just Dance 4, in the section for the Wheel of Gifts. Either way, the entire map has been leaked. 99 Luftballons Beta The Just Dance 2014 song 99 Luftballons by Nena was originally meant to be slightly different. While the background is the same, the coaches and some of the choreography is entirely different. The two coaches can actually be seen in both the Just Dance 2014 announcement trailer, as well as the Just Dance Harlem Shake video. The entire map has been leaked. Barbie Girl Beta The Aqua song Barbie Girl was originally going to be pretty different from the routine we got as a Just Dance 2 DLC. There was only one coach, and she looks fairly different from the female coach we got in the final version. The choreography, from what we can see, is a bit different as well. A portion of this routine has been leaked from Wii Shop servers, but the full map has not. All About That Bass Beta The Megan Trainer song All About That Bass was originally going to be featured on Just Dance 2015, with a different coach and a very slightly altered choreography. Eventually, the song made its way into Just Dance 2016 with a different coach. The entire map of the beta has been leaked. Animals Extreme Betas The extreme alternate to Martin Garrix's song Animals in Just Dance 2016 has two betas, both of which are similar to each other, but not to the final version. Both of the beta versions feature female coaches and a very different choreography from the final version. The only difference between the two betas are the coaches and a few moves in the choreography. Both betas have been fully leaked. Built for this alternate. The Just Dance 2015 song Built for This by Becky G was originally going to have an alternate version to accompany it. Despite this, the only evidence we have is the code name for it in the Just Dance 2015 files, and nothing else. Chase the Chance The Namie Arumo song Chase the Chance was meant to be featured in the Japanese exclusive Just Dance Wii U, but was scrapped due to unknown reasons. The entire map has been leaked. Toto de T The Raul Alejandro song Toto de T was meant to be featured in Just Dance 2022, but was removed for unknown reasons. Not much else that I can say, because even the Just Dance wiki doesn't have anything up on it. The entire thing has been leaked. Layer 5, The Abyss. Video Killed the Radio Star Coach is a Tumblr Sexy Man. You heard me. Much like Sans Undertale, or The One Slur, or f***ing Baldi's Basics himself, The Video Killed the Radio Star Coach is on the Tumblr Sexy Man wiki, citing that while he may not be popular, some people do consider him sexy, and is even sometimes credited as being the inspiration for original characters with CRT televisions as a head. And, hear me out y'all, 
but he's fine as hell. Slander me all you want, but he is. Just Dance 1 only had two dancers. During the original Just Dance's development, only two people choreographed and danced to the songs in the game. Jeremy Paquet did all the male dancers, and Julia Spizer did all the female dancers. Paquet was with Just Dance up until Just Dance 4, and his most notable role is probably being Rasputin's coach. Spizer was around until Just Dance 3, and was the main female choreographer on the first three Just Dance games. Well, there's even more to the Just Dance iceberg, and believe it or not, I still haven't covered everything. There's some stuff that I didn't include, either because it's too recent for me to comfortably cover it in this video, and also out of completely forgetting but not wanting to rework the whole list. Either way, the full iceberg image is in the description, and if you have something you want to add, let me know. Otherwise, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day. See ya.